Well, as some communities across the state remain buried under snow here in Kern, Pine Mountain Club residents have been dealing with the impacts of the winter storm. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino went up there today and has more on this weekend's recovery efforts. I'm setting in about two feet of snow, so clearly there is still a lot of snow here at the Pine Mountain Club, but the residents telling me that it looks a lot better than it has in the past week. The roads, as you can see, are clear. We haven't seen cars go up and down this road, and it really took a community to get to this point. But residents also telling me that the work is not done yet. This snow is big. A lot of trees are broken. People are still locked out of their homes, tractors are breaking. Larry Handy has been living at Pine Mountain Club for 16 years and says this is the most snow he has seen in over a decade. It was snow measured in feet rather than snow measured in inches. Andrew Freeborn with the Kern County Fire Department says although the county is surrounded by mountain communities, Pine Mountain Club got hit the hardest, which is why 50 Kern County firefighters, Supervisor Sax Scrivener, utility companies and a dozen equipment operators from the County Public Works Department all united Saturday morning to clear the community's roadways. We saw so many neighbors out helping other neighbors, helping to free their cars, cars that were buried, uh, helping to clear the berm off from the end of the driveway. One of those neighbors giving a helping hand was Lewis Lerman. I'm still clearing snow and been doing it for five days straight, so. <laughs> but he says before that, he too was stuck at home. About two days to get out of my house and uh, they uh, didn't plow the streets, so we really couldn't get out for another day because of the streets were not plowed. So if we got out of the driveway, we were stuck. Adding the cleanup efforts took longer than he had hoped. Should have plowed it a little sooner when the storm first started. I think they would have had a better shot at, at success, but so not all the roads got plowed, but we finally got out after three days. He says his power would go out sometimes four hours at a time. It looks like the Edison and all the tree crews came up and and took down the trees that had dropped some lines and uh, fixed all the power, got it all back up and running. So that was nice. Adding he saw people run out of essential items as well. Uh, so I know a lot of people, you know, they they ran out of propane. A lot of people called me out of wood. He says it did get cold, but despite it all, he considers himself lucky since those that live higher up in the mountain were without power for a day and some are still stuck up there. Something Larry Handy also pointed out. I mean, it's, it's great for all the water and everything, but, um, you know, hopefully we can get them dug out soon. And for anyone wanting more information on how to be better prepared in these types of emergencies, the Kern County Fire Department, along with other agencies, will be holding a community preparedness event on March 25th at CSUB. We'll have all the details for that event linked on our website, turn to 23.com. At Pine Mountain Club, Bonnie Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Well, the entire state of California has seen tremendous impacts from recent winter storms and some parts of the state are still facing challenging conditions. Now taking an in-depth look over the weekend, the California Department of Transportation removed just over 1.6 million liquid gallons of snow in the Twin Peaks area. Meantime, the National Weather Service reports the Sierra Nevada mountain range could get up to an additional three feet of snow through Tuesday. This after some areas have seen more than 30 inches of snowfall over a 24 hour period. Officials also say part of Interstate 50 at the Nevada state line will remain shut down because of winter conditions with quote, no estimated time of reopening.